Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams on Miss Ayani and Susan Faulkner Evans on bow. We're working at the walk, keeping the horses connected. Good. So the, what the riders are feeling, Susan's focusing on keeping Bo's pole open because he has a tendency to like to go behind the vertical. And Trudy's goal is going to be to make sure that Annie keeps lifting up her back no matter what she's doing. Good. So just walk around at first and feel that their backs are up. This is a new camera, so excuse me while I try to figure out how to focus it. That's it. All right, now add short serpentines, like half the distance of the ring. Serpentines, making sure they stay active and alive on the rain. That's right, keep her active, Trudy. <coughs> keep her active. Good, good. I like how you're keeping her active. And he'll try to slug out on you there. You feel it? So that's where you've really got to get him to step up even more. Good, Susan. That's all right, she's gonna flip her head at first because we're still in the warm up here. That's it. Good, Susan, more activity. Praise him. That's it, all right, so now we're gonna add shoulder ins. Bring their shoulder in as you do your serpentine. Bring it in until you feel them go on their inside hind leg. More activity, good. Good, he's, lift, he's still got his back up. More activity, change directions. Position him with your outside rein and leg. Add more activity. More activity. More activity, praise him. Good, so you're gonna change your direction. More activity in between. All right, let's see what Trudy's doing here. More activity there, shorten your left rein, your outside rein and leg, get more activity. So she puts her weight on her inside hind. You can feel on that one, she wasn't really on any hind leg, right? Okay, now get her active, shorten your outside rein, ask her to step up into the rein. This connection with the reins is different for both of the horses. They've both been doing it less than 10 lessons that we've done it where we've asked the horses to stay connected at this level between the rider's reins and legs. Good, keep the activity. Nice, Susan, he's keeping his throat latch open and being active. That's it. Keep that same activity after you've done your circles now. Keep the activity. He needs more bend. You should be able to look through his ears. Remember, you should be able to see through their ears if they've got the correct bend. So check, can you see through your horse's ears when you're doing it, Trudy? Yep, once she lets you do it, that's right. So now make sure you can look through her ears, which means you're bringing her shoulder in for the shoulder in. Oh, that made sense. More activity. Keep looking through her ears. That's right, more activity. One side is always harder, you're right. More activity, more activity. Bring her shoulder in so you can look between her ears. There, feel the difference? She picks you up under the saddle different, doesn't she? Good. Keep the activity. Add a little stretch in here now. So somewhere in the stretch for your, for your shoulder in, you're gonna add a couple steps of seeing how much you can get them to stretch for two steps without the reins going dead. More activity. See if he'll give you a stretch while still staying active. More activity. Good, more activity. Good, that's it. Good, now keep the activity. Show me a little stretch on your inside rein. Keep the activity, good. Show me a little stretch on the outside rein. More activity. Remember, whenever you give on a rein or do anything, you have to get them more active from behind. Good, more activity. Okay, put them back together again. Ask for a shoulder in, more activity. Learning how to use a new camera here. Good, more activity. That's it, and then do a little stretching on your inside and outside reins. Good, Trudy. Keep the rein alive. Shoulder in, more activity. You're going to ask her to stretch on your outside rein and then on your inside rein. Get her to stretch on the outside rein, more activity. Yeah, yep. she died. She died, but she stretched. That's right, she did, but she didn't. Yep, but you know it's not a stretch now because you're getting pickier about it. The real stretch has to come from them lifting their back and being active behind, right? So you've got to really keep her active as you stretch and let go on the reins because we're going to go into the half pass next, so you know. All right, keep her active. 
More activity. Stretch her on one rein or the other just to see if she'll do it. Keep her active as you do it. Yes, Trudy. Feel her rolling through her hips and shoulders. Very nice. I was holding back. It doesn't matter. She said she was holding back and at this point because this is new for well, for especially. Yep, you might have been holding just a little bit too tight. I'm trying to think of pushing instead of pulling. She's trying to think of pushing instead of pulling. Good, good. All right, Susan, you're going to add half pass now. Shoulder in into half pass, keeping the activity. More activity. Good, good. Remember, you should be able to see between his ears to the letter you're going towards. So look in the direction you want him to go. If this is good enough for Carl Hester, we can do it. Good, good. Keep him more active. More activity. That's it. Oop. Needs more activity. And he may only be able to do three steps at first because we've just started really doing half passes with him. So you just think if he starts getting stuck in his half pass, just send him forward a step or two. Shoulder in into half pass, whatever steps he can take. Good. That's right, into half pass. That's right, good, good. Look at him picking you up. More activity behind. More, more, more. Good, good. Praise him a lot. That's it. Okay, now you're going to do a shoulder in into a half pass. So all that is is you're going to keep the same bend, and I know she hasn't done a lot of those, all right? So all this is going to do is it's going to teach you a different way to use your aids differently. That's all it's going to do. She might only be able to do one or two steps, and then you go straight, all right? That's it. Keep her going forward, though. That's, that's a side pass, not a half pass. So as half pass is more forward than sideways, think of a leg yield like the direction you take in a leg yield, except you've got her bent in the other direction. That's it. Shoulder in, Trudy. More activity, Susan. That's right. Try to bring her shoulder over more. It. She's got to be straighter in her body, and at first, because she's just learning how to do this, she will go all over the place, so that's okay. Good. Keep the activity. Notice where she lost the activity? So that's the most important thing right now, is the connection coming from the activity. Good. Keep the activity. Praise him a lot. Good. Is he sitting down as he does it? Can you feel it? Good. If he's not sitting down, you need to shorten your outside rein. Good, that's you wobbling your body. Do you feel that? You're using too much seat. If he's not responding to your seat, that's where you want to add a little of your leg or whip. Because otherwise it starts looking like you're a duck. A duck? You know how ducks waddle? You've got the right idea, but what he do, he'll get you to where you're just going like this here. Which would be fine if he was following your seat, but he's just learning about the seat now. Good, good. Now you're going to do a shoulder in, into a half pass, into a turn around the haunches, just a half of one, Trudy. Yep, that's two sideways. That's a side pass. Good. And Trudy, if it's more comfortable, you can do a leg yield into it. Take your time. Is she in front of you or has she fallen down? Did she sit? Good, good. Okay, now you're going to do it again. You're going to do a shoulder in into whether do you want to do a half pass or leg yield? I'll do shoulder in first. Okay, shoulder in into a half pass. Keep the same bend into a turn around the haunches with the same rhythm. Same rhythm. Take your time. Take your time. Just yep. Just turn around half of a half pirouette. That's it. And then walk her forward. Good, good. Pirouettes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> finally, pirouettes, fine, fine, fine. Good, good. Now you're just going to get that feeling. All right, Susan, same thing for you. Half pass into a walk, 
Turn on the haunches, walk pirouette. Good. Do you feel where he took the shorter step? Good, good. And he might do that at first. We don't care. Yep. More activity. More activity. That's it. Good, good. Watch his pole. All right, now keep him back on his inside hind and start your half pirouette. More activity, more activity, more activity. Praise him, that was nice. Let him walk forward. Good boy, good. Okay, let's get them a stretchy walk break now. Let them walk out on a stretchy rein and give them a break. That's it, that's enough. Let her have a break now, stretchy rein. Walk them around on a big active walk and stretchy rein. Praise them. Good, keep the activity.